When studying genetics, there are terms with which you should be familiar. These terms include genotype, an actual genes present in an organism which may or may not be expressed in the phenotype. Phenotype, the observable characteristics of an organism. Note that the genotype can be influenced by the environment. For example, hair color. Some with naturally black hair, with undue exposure to the UV rays of the sun, can develop brownish red hair. Another example is that during a fast, a genetically fat person will lose weight. However, as soon as they are off the fast, they regain the weight as the genotype has adequate nutrition for true expression in the phenotype. Homologous chromosomes, a pair of matching chromosomes of maternal and paternal origin. Alleles, a pair of genes controlling alternative characteristics. Locus, the position of a gene on a chromosome. Heterozygous, both alleles are present at a locus. Example, one on each of the homologous chromosomes. Homozygous the locus has the same allele on each of the homologous chromosomes. Dominant, the allele which controls the characteristic shown in the phenotype when inherited in the heterozygous condition. Recessive, the allele which is not expressed shown when inherited in the heterozygous condition. Inheritance with dominance. Gregor Mendel, the father of genetics, discovered the following rules. Genes normally exist in pairs, one of which may be expressed and is therefore dominant, and the other recessive. In a gamete, only one of the two genes is present. If the dominant and recessive genes are present together in an individual, it is the dominant one which produces an effect. The transmission of genotype and hence phenotype from one generation to the next can be mapped by using a genetic diagram. Let's use this example to map the transmission of a gene from one generation of cats to the other. In mice, black eyes B are dominant to brown eyes B. How can a black-eyed mouse mate with a brown-eyed mouse and produce only black-eyed mice? 